Welcome to the Love of Them Knives channel. Wow. Have we ever done a balisong knife? I don't remember doing one. But I saw this one. I was just moseying through the Microtech uh, line. And I thought, you know, I haven't done a Microtech in a long time either. It's been a while. So I thought, and I've had a couple of viewers say, how about doing a bally? Well, I mean, I see the way these guys flip these knives and stuff, which is awesome to me. I mean, it would be great if I could have that kind of mastery skills, and I do not. I can barely tie my own shoes. This is the Microtech Tachyon 3. There's a serial number on here, right? And here is the safe side and here is the bite side which means when you release the latch by you know pushing the spring thing in uh you don't want to be on this side where your hand is you want to be on this side where your hand is when you open the knife because otherwise you'll get cut and uh, yes you will in any case there it's open and I'm pretty horrible at flipping. But I just thought uh, I would throw this up on my channel for those of you who are, have any interest in these uh, Bala songs and Microtech in, in uh, particular. You got your manufactured date, USA Microtech. This is LMAX Steel. It's a four and a half inch blade. It's like 10 inches overall. Pretty close to that. I think it's 10. And this is uh, aluminum scales here. Handles, scales. And it shows you what I know. You've got that proprietary uh, hardware everywhere. And it's everywhere. So, also, You've got kind of a milled fuller on both sides of the LMAX blade. And check that out. Do you see those ball bearings in there on the pivot? Yeah. Yes, you do. You have ball bearings. And I believe they're ceramic uh, ball bearings. Go to the paperwork. Blade HQ. Four and a half inch black DLC. Right? Ten inch overall. Four and a quarter cutting edge. It's L Max. Looks like it might be about four millimeter if that blade thickness is correct. Clip point. Black DLC coated. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Handle thickness about a half inch aluminum. Obviously, it's anodized blue. Right hand tip up. There you go. And it includes the adjustment tool. And you do get that. This is the latest generation, latest and greatest. Do you see that price? LMAX and aluminum. Uh, you know, titanium wouldn't have been bad. For $324, you'd think maybe you'd get titanium. I don't know. Just Oh, I think the custom one they do does have titanium. And... I'm not sure, but I think it doesn't have the LMAX. I think the, well, maybe it does. I think you get different blade steel sometimes, depending on what day of the week it is. Sometimes Microtech, you, they used to have that disclaimer, like uh, we have the right to change, you know, steels. We could use 154 CM, maybe LMAX, whatever. Um, interesting. In any case, pause and read the rest. So, uh, yeah, you have ceramic ball bearing pivots. Yeah. Um, you know, you have O-rings in here and for load dampening. And also, you've got a heat-treated stainless steel retainer plate in there. And so, what you're doing in here is... I don't know if you can see the retainer plates in there. But, so, you don't have wear against that aluminum. So you've kind of put the bearings up against a hardened stainless 
uh, area where you're not going to have that kind of, uh, you're not going to wear a groove in it with those ceramic bearings up against that. So, I mean, that's a thought process right there. I, I don't know that I think this knife is terribly, terribly sharp. Let's see if it'll cut something, but I don't know that the paper test is the way to go about this. Okay, well, it, yeah, okay. Yeah, it does. Okay, so let's just leave it at that, right? <laughs> um, we're lucky to make one clean cut. Yeah, I guess it is. It just, it, uh, I tried to shave my arm with, hair with it and it did not do that. So I guess it's a good working edge, but it's not exactly hair popping sharp. Then again, depending on how skilled you are with these, maybe it doesn't need to be overly sharp. Pretty much what you're going to be doing with this anyhow. This, to me, looks like a tactical self-defense weapon, obviously. And so, um, it's a big blade, too. Big blade. Check this out. <laughs> Here's your Manix. Uh, yeah. Manix, eight and a quarter overall. Ten inches overall on this Microtech. So that's a big dog. Big old dog, right? But that Microtech feels pretty light, actually. Well, compared to this, yeah, everything's heavy. Compared to that Manix, Manix has got nothing there. But, you know, look at the difference in the size here. Even pivot to pivot. That's amazing. This thing's a big old long dog, but it's elegant and slender in that regard. So, oh, well, let's... Let's kick the box open. So you get this uh, inspected by. You get the Microtech information. Operating instructions. Please be careful not to cut all your fingers off, just maybe a few. And of course, it, it goes into this plastic and into this nice foam padded area and you get the tool yes you do I guess you got to su supply your own little turning rod that you put through there but you can usually find something very small screwdriver or something that'll that'll work for that nice other than that there you go there's your uh, model number 173-1 DLCBL. So it's light though. It feels pretty light. Let's see how much this dog weighs. And four ounces even. And that is 115 grams, which is pretty light. So hey. What do you think about that? It's channeled out. I mean, it kind of, you know, as it comes to the end, the channel comes up gradually because of the, the style of the blade here. And you have this spring. You know, I've seen somewhere where this little lock piece that comes across here, the spring bar, um, is adjustable, but this one is not. I guess they don't need to get, they, they got the right amount of spring on this thing. So just squeeze it together and it releases and you have a knife and you have a fixed blade. So now you're ready to rock and roll. What'd you say to me? Huh? whatever it's like I don't run that fast so this is all this is my last stand right here but that pocket clip you'd think that thing would sit in your pocket pretty nicely actually it's not very uh, obtrusive it's just right I like it when they have a pocket clip I've seen a lot of ballets that didn't so Blue Titanium, Black DLC. It just seems like the right combination. Oh, they make some crazy looking stuff. Did, I, did you see any of these? 
there's some other ones that are like red and I mean, oh my God, green and yellow and all kinds of different color combinations. And I go, that's almost going to Clown City. I, to me, I mean, this blue is, is pretty elegant, but then the black is kind of just going, you know. You know, if uh, my wife wasn't so pissed off, I'd sit there and, you know, try and do, you know, <laughs> stuff. But uh, she's like, what the hell do you think you're doing? And it's like, I'm practicing. But no, she shut me down. This will not be in my permanent collection. If you want this knife really badly, please contact me. <laughs> my wife will put my contact information down. <laughs> She said, before you cut your fingers off, in any case, I just thought this would be fun to put up on my channel. Well made. Aluminum, we can argue about. Titanium, aluminum, I mean, um, I would think this would be a little bit lighter than the titanium option. Uh, the L-Max steel, that's good as long as the heat treats right on it. And that's so there's always arguments about that. But I mean, uh, it's a big knife. And, you know, it comes in a nice box. American made. Yes, it is. Fairly light, especially for as big as it is. Ten inches overall. Well, I never did put Big Bertha to it, but I will right now. If, if you don't believe me. I mean, you got, <laughs> you know... You've got 110 millimeters, and then you still haven't hit these these handles, which I don't know how you're going to do that blade length deal like that. But uh, let's get let me let me get to the tip on the other. Come on, baby. So up here where where we got inches, yeah, we got four and a half. We got that all day long. So overall, ten inches. What can I say? So, millimeters wise, oh, you got 25 and a half uh, centimeters and millimeters, 110. So, big knife, big knife. So, for those of you who just love playing with uh, ballast songs and doing the Microtech thing, there you go, Tachyon 3. It's all updated bearings, ceramic bearings, you know, the hardened steel plates, the O-rings. I, uh, I think they got it right. Thanks for joining me. I do appreciate it. Appreciate your support. Hit the subscribe button if you'd like and stay up on God only knows what LTK is going to do today type thing. And you know what you need to do? Stay sharp, my friends.